Council this morning. John and I are setting out a positive agenda for real change. How we can shift power closer to people. How we can decentralise and democratise the state. How we can extend democracy, not just at the ballot box, but into every workplace and into every community. A compromise position was arrived at between you and the, the Scottish leader uh, last week, that, or a couple of weeks ago, that um, uh, an independent referendum may be held in the next uh, Labour government, but only, uh, but not in the formative years of that government. If your position on Brexit is now that you would hold a second referendum, would that be in the formative years? And if so, why not a Scottish independence referendum? I want a Labour government. I want a Labour government as rapidly as we possibly can. I'm hoping the election will come fairly soon. We want to make sure before that election we remove the threat of a no-deal Brexit that Johnson is trying to impose upon us because of the damage it will do to Scotland and the whole of the country. We're going to be faced with, well, inheritance of nine years of austerity, you know, four and a half million children out there who are in, living in poverty, um, 87 people dying a day according to a recent report before they get the care that they need. We're going to have a mountain to climb. We're then faced with uh, an existential threat from climate change. Mm -hmm. you know, the children have been marching to tell us as adults, we're get on with it, we won't be a planet for them to inherit, and then we'll be faced with the most grotesque levels of inequality that we've ever seen. The most, in, in terms of Europe, the most unequal society in terms of the way in which money is allocated between regions and nations, etc. That's our priority. A referendum is a complete distraction, but if eventually in due course the uh, Scottish people have a mandate they want or another referendum, we're not going to block it, but we're just saying to people, get real. We're, we're going to be faced with a huge mountain of problems inherited from nine years of austerity. You know. mm -hmm. I'm, more, I'm more concerned about making sure our children are fed, people have a decent roof over their heads, they have a proper education, and yes, we, we protect our environment. That's our priority. Quickly, Richard, why the formative years? Isn't national self-determination a basic principle? What is the stuff about formative, formative years of a, a Labour government? The priority of an incoming Labour government will be to tackle the harm that's been caused by nine years of austerity because we want to reverse that and start to invest. We think it's an experiment that's failed. And during those years, not only have the poor got poorer, the rich have got richer. Uh, we'll also be dealing with the Brexit chaos, which um, uh, will require and demand uh, a, a huge amount of uh, effort and investment from an incoming Labour government to resolve. And th there are issues around climate change. There are huge social and economic divisions in society, which will be the absolute priority of a transformative Labour government. And I think that that demands that we give it full support, that people understand uh, that we need the space to turn things around and that there is uh, no real evidence, in my view, of there being a clamour for any kind of immediate second Scottish independence referendum. You've heard me say it before, but my view is uh, we had a referendum which was meant to be once in a generation in 2014, that's only five years ago. I do not see the conditions at the moment for a second independence referendum. You have said that you would support Remain in a future EU yeah. referendum. How do you make big economic structural changes within a single market that wouldn't allow, for example, something like a Green New Deal? Well, I disagree. What we've been doing is, and we're, you know, we've been preparing for government. We've been looking at all the individual policies. So in terms of our, uh, well, our Green Industrial Revolution, because that's what it is, those policies we've checked legally and, well, as well, administratively, what we can do within the EU or outside the EU. We're not going to be hampered by e the e EU regulations, as some people uh, have advised in the past. And I tell you what is interesting, in all the advice that we've been taking, they've been saying actually the real hampering has actually been by governments who do not wish to implement these policies, and also actually the timidity of the legal advice that has been provided by some civil servants. So what we're saying is actually on all the advice that we've got, we're not going to be in any way hamstrung or hindered whatsoever. That's been an excuse in the past for governments not to act, we will act. So that was Richard Leonard and John McDonnell of Labour telling us what their priorities will be in a general election. Whether they've sufficiently answered questions about Brexit, and about Scottish independence, and about the general constitutional crisis, only voters can decide.